Greetings from the XA Dream Man, and good to be back. What are we going to look at today? Well, it's the general purpose wagon from Great Escape Games for all your cowboy needs. The Eccentric Man YouTube channel is kindly sponsored by Lost Ark Games in Stevenage, and there's some exciting news coming up that I'll tell you at the end of the video. So keep tuned and let's have a look at the wagon. We first saw the wagon on the uh, Great Escape Games stall in Hammerhead uh, earlier on in the year, and I was looking forward to its release. And John at Lost Ark Games got a few in, so let's have a little look at what you get. Two sprues and an instruction booklet. Looking through the instruction booklet, it's quite a quite a nice little uh, easy way to go. Fairly straightforward. So I've gone through in the video and used the instructions and taken some pictures as we're going through. A couple of things to mention uh, that I found as I was putting it together. So uh, one important thing is to read the full instructions, depending on how you want to build it, because uh, we'll, we'll get into that as we go. The sprue frames are very nice. Uh, there is absolutely minimal flash on all of the plastic products. You get two set in the box because this is your general purpose wagon. You can get just this frame on its own. So here's the addition to it with the uh, wagon cover. It also has the driver, a passenger and the two horses and uh, the hoops, which are important to note. You can build the wagon in three different variants. You can just have the basic wagon. You can have the wagon with the hoops on, or you can have the wagon with the cover over. So you can do all three. But if you're going to build it with the hoops, uh, well, sorry, with the cover, you don't put the hoops on. Read the instructions. What is also good, I thought, is that there are existing gunfighter sprues, one and two. One is the men gunfighter, two is the women gunfighters. Works quite well with them as well. So uh, I use some of these parts on my wagon build. Now onto the build. Fairly straightforward uh, if you follow the, the steps and you read the instructions through first, which I didn't. So I have made a couple of little errors. Um, one was obviously um, I was going to do a covered wagon and then I stuck all the hoops on. So I thought, oops, going to have to do it without the cover. So that's what I did for the first one. I've got two kits. Well, in fact, I've got three kits now. Uh, so the first kit uh, will be with the hoops, second kit with the wagon cover and the third will just be the wagon on its own because that's the second the last set i've got was just the wagon the first of my errors came fitting part e you can see there uh, i put it around the wrong way what i also found was that the easiest way was to glue all four all three sides and the uh, bottom part of the seat part and put them together i've arrowed it here you can see this bit little bit it's not particularly clear on the pitch which way round it goes. But if you put the little indents for the springs to the front, then you'll be right. Uh, for the first wagon, I put it to the back and there's a bit of a gap between them. But you can't actually notice it when the figures are fit, sitting on it. So it's all good. So here's it so far with all the seat and the sides put together. Uh, it's pretty good, I think. It wasn't too bad. Uh, and it looks pretty neat. Here's my second error. I was going to do a fully covered wagon, but uh, I didn't read it properly, so I started sticking the glue hoops on. I used me uh, glue bottles to support them, to keep them straight. And uh, yes, and then I suddenly realised, because I read it again, that you don't put the hoops on if you want the covered wagon. So it changed my plans to a open wagon with hoops and different crews. So I had to think about what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. So I came up with this solution, which was to add a third passenger to the wagon. Uh, so that's what I did. I've also used the bits from the Gunfighters 2 box to give me two women uh, for the wagon so far. I've got one for the driver and one holding a rifle out to the side. So painted them up, basic colours, and then I've put a wash over it of my... Uh, Ali's Magic Wash, which is going to have to be replaced by Sonic's uh, Marine Juice, I think. So I'll have to check that out. And finally, based up, adding the third 
woman gunfighter to the back. And I've also put in some stowage from Iron Gate Scenery, which I think makes it look rather smart, if I do say so myself. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting this one on the table and also starting to build the other two wagons. But a little starter, a little look at the kit and how I put it together. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and hopefully I'm going to get some more videos out fairly soon. Life has been a little bit hectic. Uh, we've had holidays. Uh, we've had lots of uh, child minding duties for the grandchildren. Um, and then an operation to uh, sort out uh, an umbilical hernia that I've had that I would think whew, for at least 20 years without realising. Um, and then 12 years ago it was identified, but the uh, doctors didn't want to do anything. Um, but I had it done recently, so that uh, laid me up for a little bit. So back to painting and hoping to get down to the game store for some games to be able to video them to get them out on the channel again. So, uh, as I say, I hope you enjoyed this one. The exciting news, well, yeah, Lost Art Games is moving. Um, they've had notification that there's uh, a building plan being put in for where they are to change it from... Uh, commercial to residential and their lease runs out in September. So they are setting up a new store in the town centre on ground level on one of the walkways. So watch out for that and I'll put a little video up about what's happening and how's it's all going uh, as we go through and get, get ready for the opening day. Anyway, I uh, hope you're all okay and all well. Uh, Things that I would say, one of our community has been a bit poorly recently, and that's Paul from Sabotaged 3D. Uh, he's been poorly in hospital for a couple of weeks. Uh, so go and check out his website at Sabotaged 3D and have a look, see if there's anything that you can buy that you would like. There's some great stuff on there. Uh, and to cheer him up, put an order in. Anyway, to the next time. Keep yourselves well. Take care. Oh, and always remember to hit that like button, hit the subscription button, hit the notification button. That should do you, shouldn't it? Cheers.